listen briefly to God's word. The title of the message today, as directed by the chaplain, is Laws of Prosperity. I'm going to open to Deuteronomy chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Quickly. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Can you say, but remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you heart to get well, so that He may confirm His covenant that is what your ancestors as He is meant to do. Okay, so it says, but thou shalt remember. So the first, one of the first steps, let me put it that way, to prosperity is learning to remember God. It is God that gives us the power to make well. So when you remember God, you acknowledge Him as the head, the provider. The Bible says that, um, that He's the one that provides. It makes us understand that God shall provide all your needs according to His riches in glory. So whether Daddy is giving you something, Mommy is giving you something, you know that it is God. You should remember that it is God that is giving to you. So some people just forget God because they have a daddy that gives. Sometimes God will say, okay, this one is not remembering me now. Let me take away his daddy. And you see the person start crying. What is this? So learn to remember God. That is God that provides for you always. Then, so that's one of the laws, the law of power to remember God. The next one is Remember that God is the source. I've said that, that he's the source of all good things. The Bible says that all good things come from him, comes from above. Then you must remember that God established his covenant with Abraham, David, Solomon, and others. So if God could have a covenant with Abraham and say you will prosper, he had with Isaac and say Isaac will prosper, Isaac prosper. If God has told you too that you will prosper, you will not lack any good thing, then believe him that in this life, that you will not lack any good. So that's under the power of remembering. Now the second law is the power of God's word. In Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Someone should read that. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. So this book of the Lord shall not be far out of thy mouth, but thou shalt be put there in day and night, so you have to do all that is written there. Then thou shalt make thy way to stars and have the success. Okay, so he said, This book of the law shall not be far out of your mouth but you will meditate on it. So, the word of God is the power that brings prosperity. He says, if this book will not depart from the mouth, you meditate on it day and night. That's how you meditate on God's word that you will not lack again. Because the word of God will come into your being, come into your life. He says, and you will have good success. So, you want to have success in school. Prosperity is not only money. Success is prosperity. Academic success is prosperity. So, if you will allow God's word to dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, you find out that you cannot fail. So that's prosperity. So we must remember that there's power in God's word. The Bible says, man shall not be by bread alone, but by every power, by, by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Not some word, every word. So every word of God is very important for your success. So we must read God's word Believe God's word, hold on to God's word, then announce God's word. Learn to speak God's word to other people too. Now there's also the power of agreement. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. says, shall two walk together, except they agree. If you want to walk together with God for success, then you must agree with God too. So let's learn to agree with God. If God says don't sin, if God says don't do bad things, listen to God. Let God be your partner. So you must, we must learn to agree in prayer. We must agree in relationship as parents and children. We must agree in taking decisions. Agree in doing things right. So, mommy and I, we need to agree on how to train people and train people that way. If we disagree, things will go here and there. Children, you need to agree that oh, we must obey our parents. We will not listen to voices outside. We will not listen to voices outside. When you agree that, Father, you live a godly life. But if you want to listen, or you listen to daddy and mommy, you go outside, you listen to friends, they tell you some things, you go here and there. Ah, oh, but, uh, mommy, you said this, but my friend told me that. No, that should not be in this house. You must 
commitment to agree with your parents. If we say, ah, okay, um, either we say, if someone gives you something else, like, come and show your parents first. You learn to agree. If we say, okay, um, don't accept gifts or anything from anybody outside, then you agree with us. Don't say, uh, do you think the person gave me is a good thing now? It's Bible or something. If we, if we have said, we have not said that. If we say, don't take anything from anybody. So don't go and say, anyway, what the person gave me now? He said, it, it, it's uh, something sweet, something good. No, the person is saying, take instruction. Praise the Lord. So uh, the person gave me biscuit now. Uh, mommy, is the, is, the, is the type of biscuit you gave me that person gave me? That should not be it. Oh, that is, is um, if we say, okay, don't watch film outside. You know, I say, ah, that is the film you put, that the person also puts there. So I watched it. But there, what I mean is, learn to listen. The, your parents are there to guide you. That if I put a film for you to, most times I, I watch with you so I can guide you. A, a stranger can come and sleep with the same thing and have something else in his mind. That's it. So learn to listen to your parents and learn to agree with what your parents are saying. Um, law of power of confession. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Verse 37 and 6. For oh, by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Okay, so by your words things will work well for you, and by your words things will go bad for you. So if you are saying I will prosper, I will take first, I will do this, things will work well for you, you will be justified. But when you say I know I can't make it, though. I know I, I see sickness, sir. it's like it's my sickness, it's, it's when you talking evil, you will be condemned. So use your words well. Use your mouth well. Don't speak evil. Speak no guy, as the Bible will say. Is it guy or guy? Guy. Speak no evil. So learn to confess positively. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, that whatsoever you desire, when you pray, um, believe it. But in verse 23, he said you will speak to this mountain. You will speak here. He said go. It will go. Anything. Learn to speak forth. Your words, speak for sources. Don't be lazy. If your body wants to be lazy, say, Body, we are not meant to be lazy. Stop sleeping too much. Speak to your body, speak to your mind, speak to everything around you. People want to know your God. If you are a failure, why how can you come and tell somebody, Come and be born again like me? That's not say, I can't. <laughs> I should come and be like you. Hey, God forbid, that's what they're going to say. But if you are prospering, you are carrying first in class, you are not lacking any good thing. You are always healthy, never sick. And you say, come and know my God and be like me. You say, hey, you have been very sick. Well, let me come and know you now. Let me come and be like you so that I will be passing my exam, so that I will be healthy, I will be strong. So do all the things God has told you. Learn to remember Him. What's the next one? That there's power in His word. Confession. Confession. Confess well. What? Agreement. Beautiful. Agree with God first. Then agree with your parents, especially if they are godly, to so agree with your parents. They said things for you. Don't be disobedient. You say, don't, don't steal, don't fight, don't abuse. So obey God. And you see things working well in your life. Praise God. Any question? No question. Alright, so we've studied. So what have you learned? Shout it. Please, your voice. We should obey our parents and obey God. Elisha. 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 All right, sit down.
Lord is there for you. What should you do? What? You should always remember. God. All right. So, praise God. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Pray to Father, we thank you for your love and mercy. There is none like unto you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for speaking to us this day. It's a great topic. We've been blessed with the laws of prosperity. Indeed, God is so prosper. You wish above all things that we prosper and be in hell, even as our soul prosper. May our soul indeed prosper. May our body be healthy. Let our mind know you. And Lord God Almighty be glorified in our life. Thank you for a time to meet as a family, as a church. Be glorified. Pray for other people meeting in other places. We pray that you will bless them. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Let's share the grace and fellowship. And now, the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever.